Hey photographer, Jessica Whitaker here, coming at you from beautiful Bali, Indonesia with a film photography tutorial. I'm gonna be walking you through how I use the Contax G2 35 millimeter film camera, and with it, we have the Carl Zeiss 45 millimeter F2 lens. The film we're gonna be using in today's shoot is Kodak Ektar 100. If you are wanting to shoot on film, but you find it intimidating, this video will encourage you, but it'll also have my complete guide to film photography for beginners linked in the icon card above or in the description box below. I think that film photography is so fun and I want to create an environment on YouTube that explains it in the easiest way possible. We have the ability to gather here today thanks to our sponsor Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning platform with over 25,000 classes in photography, art, digital media, design, and so much more. If you're watching this tutorial, chances are you're a great match for what Skillshare has to offer. Let's be real photographers, we are one person shows. There's classes on Skillshare covering business basics from writing effective website copy to accounting for freelancers. A great class to begin with is Bookkeeping for Freelancers by Emily Simcox. A yearly subscription to Skillshare is less than $10 a month, making it one of the most affordable online learning communities. Because Skillshare and I believe in you and your business, they are giving you two months of free access to their premium membership. Be sure to grab your free trial down below and let's go meet our model. I want you to meet my very special guest today, Kira, my wonderful, amazing, talented friend Kira, who is a photographer based in Bali. Tell them about yourself. Sum up your entire life story, Kira, in three sentences. Challenge. Okay. Uh, my husband and I were super tired of the nine to five and wanted so much more creative freedom. So 18 months ago, we moved to Bali. I love photography and I love just like empowering people creatively. Yeah. So photography has been huge for me. My husband's a web developer and so now we work here like doing photography and online and love to travel and They're meet so people. amazing. And <laughs> Kira is like the kindest person I have ever met. <laughs> Kira and I um, are actually mentors at the Institute of Code, the photography and social media workshop. And I have some videos already about that and I'll link the vlog up here. That's hey. how we met. So I'm gonna have her Instagram and her <laughs> website linked down below. We're gonna hop right into the tutorial. See how the arrow points uh, clockwise? Give that a little tug. And you open up the back of the camera and we're gonna load the film in. Hector 100, I didn't close this all the way, otherwise you could go. There's nothing in it though. So, pop this back out, turn it clockwise, pop this open and then all you have to do, you wanna make sure our little tail is facing you want to make sure the tail is facing towards the remainder of the camera. All you have to do is to give it a little bit of a pull. We have the tail going right to this little barrel guy. You don't have to bring it that much further. You might be able to wiggle it out a tiny bit more, but it's going to automatically roll it for us. So I close the back of the camera. You can see and I'll, when I close it, you'll get a better idea. The film you're using, the ISO, and the shots you have, which is good. Now we're gonna set the ISO. So since we're shooting with 100 film, our ISO is 100. And this camera is actually automatic, so it will read the ISO for you. You don't ever have to worry about that, at least in the settings that we're at. We're on single mode, and I'm gonna be shooting today in auto, which I know might make some people cringe, but this is just what's gonna be the easiest for anyone starting out. Let's get started. So Kira, I'm gonna have you standing like right here, and I'm gonna try to have um, all this beautiful flowers framing you. Blue and red look so nice together that I think this is gonna really pop, especially with all the greens. And I don't actually mind a bit of the shadow on her face. I think it's kind of pretty because it's just a tiny hint. And then with this camera, we are in autofocus right now. Okay, one, two, three, first shot. Beautiful, Kira. Okay, I'm gonna have you now maybe turn um, your torso to the side and then give a look over, oops, sorry, sorry, over your shoulder. Okay, beautiful. One, two, three. Gorgeous, Kira. Lift your face up even tall. Yeah, yeah, beautiful. One, two, three. Gorgeous.
Okay, we're gonna shoot at 2.8. Gorgeous, Kira. Beautiful. Okay, so let's do some full body shots. Cute, cute. Now I'm gonna bring it down to um, 2.8. And now our shutter speed goes to 500 and 700. Beautiful, Kira. Gorgeous. Now I'll have you maybe pop into this little area. Gorgeous. And this Ektar film, I'm so excited to see what the blues and what the greens look like. Maybe bring your shoulder up just a tiny bit. Yeah, yeah, cute. Big smiles for me. Yeah, gorgeous. Beautiful, Kira. We can do a really wide shot and get some of that color in it. I love how this big branch is kind of coming down and kind of arching over her. Super pretty. I'm gonna shoot on um, 2.8. With this camera, you can't, you have to choose between 2.8 or four. You don't have an option otherwise. Okay, lift your face up nice and tall. Beautiful, Kira. One, two, three. Beautiful. Now I'm gonna shoot as wide as possible just to see what I can do. Shutter speed is now 1400. Perfect and stay just like that, Kira. Now we're gonna shoot at 5.6 and our shutter speed just went down to 180. One, two, three. When you start shooting film, don't be afraid to experiment around and to make actual notes in your phone or written down. Shot four was with shutter speed 150, um, f-stop 4.0. So you can get familiar with your settings and how your camera is working for you. So we're gonna do some more direct sunlight with a little bit of shadow play in it. So I'm going to put my um, f-stop at 2.8 and then my shutter speed just went to 100. Okay, beautiful, Kira. So we are now going to do some direct sunlight photos. So I am going to start out at 5.6 as my f-stop and then jump to four. So Kira, for this, because it's so bright, I'm gonna have you just keep your eyes closed and then let's bring your um, hand with your wedding ring up there. Yeah, beautiful for that nice detail. Okay, and then I'm gonna have you actually turn your face straight towards me. Beautiful, yeah, nice. Gorgeous, gorgeous, one, two, three. One, two, three, lift your face up nice and high. Yeah, beautiful cheekbones, gorgeous, Kira, gorgeous. I love these orange flowers. They're beautiful. And orange and blue are, what's it called? Tertiary colors, something like that. Color theory, I don't know. Color theory, we have a video <laughs> on that and I haven't watched my own video in a while for it. So um, I definitely want that to be in the frame. And I also love these palm ferns. So I'm gonna have Kara kind of standing between these two bits and I wanna get that beautiful blue sky. Okay, so we are at 5.6, one, two, three. And then our shutter speed was 350 for that. Then I slide it to four. And now our shutter speed goes to, it's going at 500. And now we're gonna do 2.8, which might be kind of a bad idea, but we'll give it a go. And the shutter speed went to 1000. It kind of jumped between 1000 and 1400.
I'm gonna continue to shoot a few more of Kira on 5.6 and I prefer 5.6 for these kind of shots because we are at a beautiful villa. This property is gorgeous. And the 5.6, we can get more of that environmental detail into it so it's not as blown out. Kira, I'm gonna have you now um, come like right here. Oh, I actually love that sleeve coming up. That was really pretty. Yes, beautiful. Gorgeous. Stay just like that. I'm actually gonna pop this at two just think I wanna see what's up. Okay, I just moved it to 2.0 <laughs> and the shutter speed is 2000. One, two, three. Okay, so because we're in the shade, I'm gonna shoot, um, I'm gonna shoot at two, and I'm gonna take one of the flowers that's already on the ground. I'm gonna do one of the orange ones and kind of place it in front of the lens. This will create a little bit of a blown out effect, and I can really only do this when my lens, um, my f-stop, is as wide open as possible. So. So pretty, Kira. Let's even put one in front of your eye just a slight bit. One, two, three. Gorgeous. Okay, so I, we're at our last little area and this is all shaded uh, and we're gonna shoot as wide as possible here too. <laughs> and I wanna let in as much light as possible. So I have Kira kind of framed by this really pretty big um, palm frond. Okay, cute. And bring your shoulder in towards me. Yeah, beautiful. Okay, so my f-stop is two and my shutter speed is 125. Uh, One, two, three. And the way I'm able to tell what my shutter speed is, is there's an LCD panel at the very bottom that tells you um, the setting for the metering and then also the shutter speed. So this is pretty dark, so I am gonna still shoot at, um, my f-stop is at two. And I love not only these huge leaves, but I also love this little guy. Mm -hmm. So Kira, I'm gonna have you step forward and I'm gonna have that kind of framing her on her, um, on the right side and then the other leaves are on the left. Beautiful, Kira. Oh, okay, so we made it to 36 shots. And okay. XR 136, we did 36. See this LCD screen? LCD screen is blinking at zero, and that's also where you would see how many shots you've taken, what shot you're on. Camera is on. We're gonna pop back into the side of the camera where we have the arrow pointing. Okay, pop that open, and it'll bring the back open. And this camera is pretty tight. Um, never touch this, try not to touch this. So nothing's gonna really fall out, which is nice. Um, you just pop it out from the bottom, close it up. Here we have our Kodak Ektar 100 with 36 shots on it. All right, guys, that was the video. Thank you so much, Yay. Kira, for being the most amazing <laughs> model here in the 95 degree uh, Bali <laughs> heat. I don't know what that is in Celsius. I think that's 200 degrees Celsius. It's like at least 40 degrees Celsius. Very hot, very humid, <laughs> but we got some amazing shots. I can't wait to get them developed. I mean, you guys have yes. already seen them. And if you want to see the full set of images, I'll have that link down below, as well as Kira's Instagram, Kira's website, be sure to subscribe if you want to receive more free photography tutorials every week. I believe in you and your business and I'll see you later. Bye!